Katie with your Galco TV Tech Tip. Depending on the type of control you are going to use for starting your motor, there are a few basic things that must be adhered to. What is the voltage availability in your facility? Because your motor must match the voltage. How much work will the motor be doing? Cycling load or continuous load? How much power will be required to run the load? And is the motor going to directly couple to the load or use belt? Well, to start an electric motor, it simply needs to be connected to a power supply with correct voltage and enough ampicity to get it to full speed before tripping or faulting out. There are a few different types of motor controllers that you can choose from, line starters, soft starters, and VFDs. In this video, we will be focusing on variable frequency drives. These are units that use switching devices known as IGBTs to control the frequency and voltage of the power fed to the motor to control its speed and limit its load through a technology called pulse width modulation. It will protect the motor to a point of tripping off if necessary, but it can also do what is known as frequency rollback which reduces speed to reduce load on the motor. This is the most electronic protection you can get for a motor, but also the most expensive. However, this unit offers continuous variable speed operation that the other two types of motor starters do not. Those are both constant full speed operation only. Click on the links to view our videos on the other controller starting methods and don't forget to visit galco.com to view our entire product selection.